Hi everyone, Jason Pettis here. Uh, doing another of my supplemental bike videos that uh, I put together for use in the customized Chicago bicycle maps that I do for Google Maps and Google Earth. You can find all of those maps, by the way, at the address that you're seeing at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we're in the northwest side of the city today, <clears throat> uh, up in a series of neighborhoods that were first established in the late Victorian age by uh, a series of middle class uh, immigrants from Central Europe, mostly uh, Germans and Poles. Uh, this was at the same time as the City Beautiful movement. That was sort of a, a school of thought that was established, uh, first here in Chicago, as a matter of fact, that directly led to many of the things that we now think of as the nicest things about big cities. Parks, libraries, museums, things along those lines. Um, now, of course, back in the late 1800s, uh, the city didn't do a lot of neighborhood park building. Uh, they just did mostly the big ones like Lincoln Park down by the lake. Uh, so that left it up to the uh, private neighborhood associations uh, to put them together, especially over here uh, by the Chicago River where we are, uh, which let's not forget for decades, which is lined from end to end with a whole series of factories that used to belch uh, pollution straight into the river. It was terrible for these neighborhoods. Uh, what these associations would do then is they would uh, gather up large amounts of money and they would literally buy lots of land as they became available next to the river and eventually over decades sort of stretched them all together uh, into these big green spaces over here on this side of the city now, sometimes going for miles at a time. Um, but if you're a small neighborhood like the one that we're in right now, uh, sometimes you could only afford to buy literally one residential lot of land and turn it into a city park. Very much like, for example, where we are today, Sunken, Pardons Gar <laughs> Sunken Gardens Park, which is one of my favorite of these uh, little one-lot parks in the whole city. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure why exactly uh, I like this park so much. As you can see, there's not really any facilities here at all. It's just sort of a, a green space in the middle of this neighborhood, uh, although I should mention that when this was first established in the 1910s, this actually did have a whole series of levels to it. There was a fountain in the middle, and there were steps that went down into the Chicago River, which is right here that you're looking at. That's all been fenced off in modern times for safety's sake. Uh, as, uh, as some of you know already, uh, during the Great Depression in the 1930s, all of these neighborhood associations went bankrupt. Uh, the city of Chicago took uh, New Deal money and established what is now known as the Chicago Park District. The very first thing they did was go out and uh, take over management of all these uh, little parks. They're dotted all over the city. That's why this, the uh, Park District now here in Chicago has over 500 different spaces exactly like this one, most of them with uh, uh, actual facilities in them, uh, sports fields and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, park buildings and, and things like that. Um, I, I encourage you, if you're in Chicago and on your bike, to uh, take a day and then go around and uh, visit a bunch of these little small ones. They're, they're great little neighborhood spots and you can often catch some really wonderful little random things going on inside them. Uh, I have an entire map dedicated just to this. It covers maybe 75 of these little parks all on the far north side of the city if you want to go by the website and check it out. And uh, as always, I hope that all of your bicycle rides are safe and fun.